And that, the hot topic recently, has been solar panels. So let's just jump right into it. Basically, the United States wants to step up its solar energy consumption. In order to do that, you got to drive prices down because solar is still more expensive in comparison to other um, energy sources, sources at this point. One of the reasons for that that they've outlined is to, d to set up a solar farm, you're going to need a lot of manual labor to put on the pho photovoltaic panels, assemble them, and actually start being able to get energy out of them. But there's also this factor of time where it takes a while to set them up. That's where RE2 Robotics comes into play. They just got a $2 million or like, I think 1.9 million technically, funding from, and this is so long, United States Department of Energy Solar Techno Energy Technologies Office, or CETO. I'm hating these acronyms. I don't know who comes yeah. up with them. Alphabet soup. Yes, it's awful. <laughs> to develop, this is another long one, outdoor autonomous manipulation of photovoltaic panels, or OAMP. The idea is that OAMP will be an autonomous system that can just go through the field and set up these panels without really any need of human interaction. They believe this is going to be good because, one, to get human labor right now in this market is reportedly very difficult. It's, you know, cost intensive. And these things are heavy. So as you're lifting them to assemble them, it can cause physical injuries. And that's obviously no good. But if you orient them in the wrong way, you actually um, lose some of the efficiency of these photovoltaic panels as well. But again, the main takeaway here is that with this system, they believe you can set up an entire solar farm 40% faster than you could if you were using human labor. I have a lot of my own thoughts about this, but I want to hear what you have to say before I start spitting my bits. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll break it down at least my you know my knee-jerk reaction to this in principle i think it's good um i you know classic spots for automation is where human labor is dangerous or imprecise and it costs a lot of money and this solar installation for farms seems like all three of those things are are the case here i did some research on solar farm setup Construction or manual labor in construction is about 10% of the costs. So I imagine they can cut down the costs a little bit. But really what the big kicker is in installing a solar farm is that it takes three to five years to get one set up. So imagine right. you make this big upfront investment, millions of dollars to make a solar farm. You can't use your land for something else because they're building these, they put these solar panels on there and you don't even get any payback energy wise for the first three to five years it makes sense that you'd use autonomy to help speed this up definitely but at the same time i have some reservations i know you have some reservations around like what this does for these skilled laborers who exactly are in charge of installing these panels exactly and that's that's always been my hesitation about automation in general on paper it, it makes so much sense you know you're taking this process which could harm human beings you're making it more efficient you're taking that aspect away it's cheaper it's better but you got to keep in mind like for example the biden administration wants to reduce greenhouse emissions by 50 percent by 2030 so there's this huge push to limit coal and oil production and obviously those workers those blue collar workers will need to find some other place to work and the plan all along has been that well they can just come into this sector like solar panels or wind power and take the jobs of maintaining them or setting them up even so even doing that transmission there's still expected to be some permanent job losses right and now you're coming in and saying well let's just completely automate one of these big processes which is setting up the solar panels and solar farms not the residential one specifically the solar farms. so I, I guess there's some leeway but to me that that makes this already uh, vulnerable market that is fearing for loss of their jobs and you're threatening that even more that's where my hesitation really comes to play. Like I, I don't, I don't want to do something that on paper sounds wonderful, but in, in the larger picture, it damages our society and our economy as a whole. I get that, and I'm right there with you. But I was just thinking back, actually, to when I was working at Tesla and thinking about that factory and how much of it is automated by robots and how little of it actually is done with human intervention. And I, I do think there's still a place for humans and robots to work together. I remember looking that, you know, these robots were doing a lot of the repetitive tasks that would cause like 
repetitive use injuries for the workers, and the workers were basically getting the opportunity to sit there and supervise the robot rather than doing all the manual labor themselves. So that's one plus side. I think another plus that we can look towards, as you mentioned it briefly, is the residential installation of solar. It's not as repetitive. The panels aren't as heavy, so it's not as dangerous. And you actually probably need a lot of human intervention to understand the nuances of each like each application at this specific house and the percent of costs that are made made out for manual labor in the residential area is actually a lot higher. So there's still some cushion room there. It's, you know, it's 10% of costs for a commercial farm. I think it's closer to 15 or 20 for a residential solar installation. So there's actually some buffer room in there in the typical cost that's allocated towards paying for manual labor. So hopefully as more people adopt solar on the commercial scale, we'll also get some micro adoption of it on the residential scale. So all these, you know, you know, non-green energy workers you're talking about from fossil fuels will hopefully find a landing place in the residential solar area. Fingers crossed that that's the only thing you can really ask for at this point.